Death is temporary. Friendship is forever. Only shooting stars break the everybody and welcome to Brawl Stars. I'm Amy the Amazonian and today I'm returning to Radadravic of Urborg. Because when you have a set that comes out that has a hundred legendaries in it, this deck gets a whole lot better because it cares about legendaries and killing those legendaries. Yes, it's all about sacrifice when it comes to Radadravic of Urborg. Radadravic, whenever your creatures, if they happen to be legendary, die, brings them back as 2-2 two -two zombies. Now if you're thinking, huh, that's pretty cool. But what if we did it again? So they're tokens, right? That means they get doubled by Anointed Procession. And it's an on-death trigger, which means that Tasa Karlov doubles it, Gandalf the White doubles it, and Drivnod doubles it. Oh, we have multitudes of tokens coming into play that are copies of our legendary creatures, but they're no longer legendary. Unless we use a powerful new mechanic called Tempted by the Ring. Gollum, Patient Plotter, and, oh, where are you, um, Boromir, Warden of the Tower, both have on death, ring tempts you abilities. Boromir has a self-sacrifice as well, meaning that you can continuously do it in a turn to bring it back, make more if you have ways to double those abilities, and, well, complete the ring tempts you, which is just kind of good. But when the ring tempts you, you can turn one of your non-legendary tokens legendary, which means you can do the thing again because Radadravic doesn't care if a thing is a token or not. It just cares if things are legendaries. Everybody loves legends, right? This deck also has just some great Orzhov legends in it, uh, many of which do already have to do with dying, bringing themselves back. And, you know, Liesa is a great example of that. I also have another new card here, the Kenris Royal Funeral, which can discount my legendary spells that I'm casting. But it does require me to exile things from my graveyard in order to get that rolling. Because we have uh, legends in our deck, we have some legendary themed cards like Primeval's Glorious Rebirth, which brings back our legendary permanence, and Invasion of Fiora. This is so fun. It's so great, and you're gonna love it. So we'll take it into the queue and kill our creatures to bring them back better, stronger, and in greater numbers. Five color good stuff with Kenrith, the returned king. Oh, um, is it a flavor win or a flavor fail to play the Kenrith's royal funeral against Kenrith? Listen, I don't want this to be how he finds out, but uh, sir, you're, you're dead canonically. Then again, so are most of my cards, but that's only because I'm the one killing them. Hey, Boromir, you're extremely dead. Boromir's like, what do you mean? I live forever in the story. No, you don't, Boromir. No, you don't. Nothing on turn one or turn two, but that scry's really nice. Boromir is so good. And uh, I have to decide if I want to play him here. By playing him, I am risking him being killed. But I'm also risking being able to do the thing next turn with the Radadravic Rata and the Boromir where I'm fully tempted by the ring um, and I get to uh, start going off. Here comes Radadravic! And I'll swing in for three. And I don't need to sacrifice Boromir yet, so we're just gonna sit here. So we can indefinitely make our board indestructible, and we can be fully tempted by the ring. Now, if we had something that would deal damage whenever one of our creatures dies, like Illus Ilkor on the battlefield, that would just be game. That's that's how we win. Game over. Winner is me. And Gandalf, who's like, ah, oh, I will make two Boromirs. How good. So yeah, it's, I love infinite Boromirs. So does Boromir. He loves being infinite. Yeah, I should be able to go um, extremely wide next turn. Fastwood Surge, they are ramping. Um, because they have access to kill spells and counter spells, but board wipes, we can survive. Uh, I'm going to be playing Gandalf at sorcery speed. Which is weird. Yes, I know. They get two more lands. Oof. Oh, hey, Anointed Procession. Here's Gandalf.
nobody's getting blocked. Uh, we deal the same damage uh, if we go through the full ring temptations. So again, I'll just wait. Wait until their end step and then go party hard. Let's see if they go for a board wave. Gandalf like, what's going on? Treacherous Blessing, okay. That's going to cause card draw to deal damage. I wonder if this is a Kenrith Enchantress deck. Because that is an unusual card to see outside of enchantment stacks. A key to the archive. Okay, I'm not worried about anything here. I'm so ready for this. This is going to be actually the first time I've been able to do the infinite Boromir stack uh, on camera. So, yay! Let's go! Let me um, put on full control mode. Some stuff's going to happen here. We get two Boromirs. One becomes our ring bearer. We get two Boromirs. <laughs> One becomes the ring bearer. We get two Boromirs. One becomes the ring bearer. We get two Boromirs. One becomes the ring bearer. We get two Boromirs. Each time we get an additional Boromir until the board is full of Boromir. And then we win the game. It's infinite, baby. Hactos, the unscarred. Hactos is going to be rolling at random when he enters the battlefield and giving protection from every single mana value except for one. And by one, I mean two, three, or four. Um, this means that Pactos is hard to kill, attacks every turn, usually gets damaged through, and puts you on a tough clock. Pactos is a tough cookie to deal with, but we have a really good variety of mana values in the deck, especially low mana values, just because they're so good with Ratadrabic. Here, have a golem. He's just a little guy. Look at him. They reprieved it. Hmm. Brief reprieve. Putting Gollum back into my hand so I don't get to attack for three next turn. Rude. Got the red, they got the white, they got base camp. Oh, it's a warrior! Oh, would you look at that? May I have my sneaky little halfling? Nope. Mana tithe. That's cool. I'm playing a tap land anyway. A Gollum can return via sacrifice. on the battlefield. Protection from everything, but mana value too. Now we do actually have something with flash that we could flash out here uh, just to be cheeky and be like, haha, I block you, Hactos. I'll take six. Uh, I would rather just get my Dracula out um, and set up for a future turn. Also, if they play something else, hmm, I don't know, maybe Yagma. Ooh, gonna make it harder for me to deal damage or target any of their things. Gross, nasty, rude. Ratadratic. We're gonna bring Gollum back into hand. Now I have a token copy of Edgar. It's normal. See? It's normal. He'll come back. Sweltering Suns! Oh, no, he won't, because he's dead! Well, he sort of will. Curse of Silence. I don't like that our opponent is running mana confluence in their deck. I kind of understand it with Hactos because this mana requirement is so difficult. Red, red, and white, white. But I feel like in a two-color deck, mana confluence is not my favorite choice. All right, now we have a little 1-1. One, one. It's got lifelink. Um, in case this doesn't work, we have some backups. I've got Samwise. I've got Elishnorn, who just obliterates Hactos. We got some goods. And I'll put down Redan too. 
may I have my little guy? Asking for a friend. He's just a little guy. Cool. I block. Would you like to recast your commander? Or do you have a board wipe coming up? Most board wipes are going to be taxed by Redan. Um, sure, make my 1-1 one, one vampire legendary. That way when it dies, if Radom Traffic is out, I get a 2-2. Two, two. It works for tokens! It's cool! Elishnorn? Elishnorn. Elishnorn. Start with a swing. Get a sweet little golem back on the battlefield. And holding up Samwise the Stouthearted. Actos returns! This time with a mana value of three. I'm getting hella tempted by this ring. You're still my ring bearer. The vampires grow. The Actos dies. And we're swinging in. Or I actually don't know if it's lethal. I think it's lethal. Let's go. We draw. We drop. You could actually drop like Shuldred for Yawgmoths. That'd be cool. Ah, it's not lethal. Valkmir prevents one damage from each of these, which means that the swing is ever so slightly short. Oh no, my weenies. All my, all my big toughness booty boys are dead. Golem's just like, I'm still here. Oh, they gained some life. The ring tempts me. Uh, Sam, are you my ring bearer? Oh my gosh. That's really cool of you to, like, be a ring bearer. Maximum damage or maximum fun? Shelly. Swing. Hit one. Raise would get me very close to lethal with her sacrifice, but not quite. It would just be two additional damage. Doesn't matter. We're winning this game. They can't get a creature to stick to the board with all the removal we have. And though our damage is reduced, it's still a lot of damage. GG! Parabex is playing Nicol Bolas God Pharaoh. Is it going to be control, crime, or something else? Well, all we know is it's a Grixis Dragon God who likes to steal. Oh, the plus two. That's always a good sign if your opponent uses the plus two. It means that they're here for a good time, here to do some crime. If they use the plus one ability, they're exiling cards from your hand, and they're a no fun ninny boo boo head. And I don't like or respect their decision. And if they use the minus four, yeah, it's cool. Sometimes you just gotta deal damage and remove things. I don't fault them for that. We'll have to wait and find out. We've got three mana. Like braids. Don't have anything in the graveyard for Kenver's Royal Funeral. Are you going to kill my Ashnod? No? Okay, cool. Swing in again for one. Swing in again for one. Have a braids. Very tempted to sacrifice Ashnod here. I will resist said temptation. I have enough mana for my Radadravic. You want to kill one of these? Got an abraid. Baleful mastery. Not killing, exiling the braids. That takes away my sacrifice engine. And since it's not dead, it's exiled. I sadly can't exile it from my own graveyard using Kenra's Royal Funeral or Ashnod's activated ability. Oh, sweet. Cool Celestis. Um, we can destroy that. No Celestis. The sun remains firmly in place. I decline. I don't need to sacrifice anything here. And hit for another one. Kapow. Four mana right now. That's enough for a meat hook massacre if you'd like to kill the pair. Or Tasha! If Tasha pluses, I won't have any good attacks. I love 
Unless, of course, I'm just trying to kill my own creatures because I have a rat of Dravic out. Which is 100% a thing that I do in this deck. Okay. Oh no, my creatures died. But now I have bigger, better versions of my creatures! Mm, would you like to sacrifice another? I'm good. Ooh, Jadar. Just some cool guys. Just some bigger dudes. Um, if I wanted some uh, protection, some insurance there, um, I also could have just like sacrificed this to Ashnod's ability. It's a matter of do I think they have a board wipe? Ah, the one ring! A large amount of card draw for a low, low cost. Also gives them protection from everything until their next turn. But not Tasha. Tasha is still very attackable. Now I have some creatures in my graveyard, which I can exile to Kenrith's final funeral. Which will make my legendary spells like Mithril Coat cost less. Monkey! Love a good monkey. Let's do it. Kenrith's royal funeral. Exile these two. Draw three cards, lose some life. Oh, Murderous Rider. That actually makes my life a lot easier. Do the kill. Oh, wait. Welcome of Legends would have been smart. Nah, I don't need it. Black mana. They're almost able to play their commander, Nicol Bolas. I'm Radadrabic. I like when my creatures die. Then they come back, extra fly. Replicating ring, it's more mana. Hi, Mr. Monkey, would you like to attack? I have a Paper Ragavan deck. This should surprise nobody. I also have a Paper Xanathar deck. I like to do Prime. And I want all the things and all the rings! Here, have some card advantage. Who love card advantage? Nice! Liesa! I'm gonna start with Relic of Legends. Bringing out Liesa. Bringing out Liesa. Bringing out Liesa. Eliminating Jadar. Oh, okay. Jadar dies. But he lives again. Have a Thalia. Make your stuff enter tapped. Maybe Mithril Coat at the ready. But first, violence. I'm going to attack with Ratadrabic. Um. Sacrificing this. The monkey trades with Ashnod. This is fine. We get another Zomboy. Liesa is also protecting Ratadrabic and Thalia. If they die, they'll return to my hand. Mm, look at you drawing cards. Reach the multiverse! Ooh, what do you think they'll steal? I don't have anything good in my graveyard yet. What if they get something like Elish Norn? That would be really scary, the big Elish Norn. On their side, uh, I guess they've got the Tasha. They've got Gonti as well. They actually milled nothing. Oh, wait, never mind. Swamp Simulacrum, Gonti. They want to do crime. Good for them. Oh, it's Gandalf! Cheeky, no. Don't try anything cheeky? I want to. I'm gonna make Ratadrabic indestructible. Both of us can draw cards. You're already drawing cards. You got the one ring. I made them draw a card and then they had to discard. I'm a genius. Or something. A bit more something than anything else. Drivnod. Moidowis Rider. Having a great time. We can make Drivnod indestructible, but why would we? Everybody, attack face. Mm hmm. Things happen, things happen, things happen, things happen, things happen, things happen, things happen.
Face is the place. Hey, let's draw cards. Oh, cool. Three mana Kaya. There is no Tasha. If the job is wrong, I change the terms. There never has been a Tasha. And we get yet another zombie. The One Ring. Oh, look at them drawing all those cards. You don't have that much life to give! If any of my legendary creatures die, well, I get them back twice. So a board wipe would have to exile. And also Kaya's still here. Doing, like, Kaya stuff. Admittedly, I do think that the triggers, if you did a Meat Hook Massacre, because Gandalf sees it as a legend, would trigger everything dies and then trigger again. Hi, Nickel Bolas. Would you like to try to steal? What do they get? It's Mondrak! Mondrak, like Drivnaught, is here to double our stuff, but with two life left, a ring about to drain them for four. That's gonna be GG. Nickel Bolas. Oh, cool, same avatar. Our opponent is playing Nissa Resurgent Animus, and our opponent eats Hot Pockets. Listen, I know that that's like a weird thing to point out, but that's how you get this avatar, is through Hot Pockets. Um, I have it too. I was actually sponsored by Hot Pockets on my stream, and I did like a whole thing where I was eating Hot Pockets and showing off the new, uh, the new Vivian avatar. You also get like a deck by redeeming codes. It's cool. This isn't sponsored. I'm just saying it because it's fun. I have a golem. I have a weird little guy. Uh, this Nissa, by the way, is the Lotus Cobra Nissa. Oh, hey! Lotus Cobra. Sne speaking of devil, uh, also gonna shoot down that devil. The Orcish Bowmaster. Don't need to wait when we can just kill that snake. Let's begin for three. On her second landfall per turn, she's still making mana. But Nissa also gets you either an elemental or an elf from your deck, which is pretty sweet. Um, I could go for braids. No. There we go. Swinging in for Golem. Sacrificing my orc army. I'm drawing a card because they do not want to sacrifice Nissa. Tireless tracker. That's great for landfall, too. One land enters the battlefield, they get a clue. They could use that floating mana to crack open that clue and draw a card. More land, more fun. How's the battle Ratadrabic? By the way, Orcish Bowmaster is not a legend, but a legendarily good card. Seriously, it's so good! I'm swinging in. My creatures die, they come back. My guess is they're holding up a protective ability for these cards. Sacrifice an artifact into the land of Planeswalker. Yep. Kick it. Yep. Oh, look! It's Gollum. And he's legendary. Thanks, Braids. So we still have a legendary Gollum on our battlefield. Alsaurus Shepherd stops counter spells. Not that I have any. Nick Swim Ancient triples their mana. And Elven Chorus lets them tap these for mana as well. I'm trying to see if I have a great way to stop those from happening. They have tons of mana, but not anything really to do with it right now, other than drawing these cards. And X equals two does sound pretty fun. It does sound pretty funny. If you want to draw extra cards, listen, Bowmasters is totally down. Don't mind me, just swinging in. Looking just fine. X equals one. And 
the Veil of Summer. Uh, I mean, you draw a card. I guess they were waiting until that Boatmaster was off the board. You can see yourself die. You would like that. Or do I just want to ramp? I'll just ramp. Black mana. Sacrifice this golem. They don't want to sacrifice Nyssa. They're going to lose an extra life. We are once again tempted by the ring and our fake golem becomes the real golem. The golem. Orban collects, gets them to forests. They're good lands. They have two mana. They have a clue. This, but I have a Liliana. Dreadhood General. I'm going to minus four. Get both players to sacrifice. Meat Hook Massacre says, oh, a little bit of death. Don't mind if I do. We get zombie copies of our creatures. We're tempted by the ring once again. Gollum, just out here being a legend. And we swing in for the final damage of Radadrabic. GG Nissa. Full of wind grace. Friggin' lands back from the graveyard, even if they're not our opponents. And take right from me too. Soul of Wind Grace is about ramping up, playing your commander, making him indestructible, and very often getting good payoff for all that ramp. Since you're in Jund colors, there's plenty of big, expensive cards. So I'm actually pretty happy with this hand, even though there's only two lands in it, because I also have Lotho. If our opponent is trying to play two spells in a turn, or if I play two spells in a turn, bam, I get a treasure. Good, I lose life too, but like, life is a resource. You should pay two spells. Actually, you shouldn't, because any spell that you'd be playing two of this turn kind of scares me. Tommy of Bamboo Groves. It ramps. Put an extra land into play. Cabaretti Courtyard. All of these uh, automatically sacrificing lands are so good with Soul of Wind Grace because you can bring them back and bring them back and bring them back every time Soul of Wind Grace enters the battlefield or attacks. Uh, Tommy of Bamboo Groves. Hello. Aren't you cute? Look at that. Not a land anyway. Hmm. I have the choice here. Uh, exile this, ramp, throw down a guy. I'll throw down replicating ring. Pass the turn. I want more mana, and I'm willing to wait. They didn't get a fourth land, and it looks like they didn't. We're also in an okay spot. Ooh, Skyslave Geopede with Soul of Wind Grace getting some triggers. Sounds pretty nasty. Nasty good, not nasty bad. Uh, more ramp for the ramp gods? Sure. Here's my lad, our bad. I get a treasure since I cast a second spell, and I'll attack with Lotho. Would you like to block? That's what I expect. This thing is going to get really, really big. Skyclave GOP getting a little bit bigger. I'm gonna get a little bit bigger again. Two more landfall triggers, each giving plus two, plus two for the GOP. Arvad is just like twiddling his thumbs, ready to sit in front of this poor GOP. We're gonna take a lot of spillover damage, and that's okay. I like how the Kami of Bamboo Grove still wants to like get in there. Nope, it changed its mind. Arvad! Use that lifelink death touch for good. Retodramic. Ellis Ilkor. And I'm going to wait with my Baleful Mastery until our opponent is about to go to attackers. Once they are about to declare attackers. I put my stop there. Zendikar's Royal going to turn Landfall into more. Uh, this is also works because they cannot replay Soul of Wind Grace this turn. Enjoy your card draw. I hope it's not a land. Landfall, landfall, landfall! They get themselves manfall. It's 
Elemental! Everybody loves Elemental Token. Well, maybe not. I loved Elemental Token. Turn their card draw into card naw. Attack with Lotho and Ellis Ilkor. Because any trades will bring them back. Not that exciting or spicy, but it's still fine. I love that um, Arvad in our graveyard is just getting really big. We do have some ways to bring back Arvad. Soldiers will punish them for card draw. Reward me for card draw. <gasps> Scoopy! Hi, Scootlebug. Landfall equals more bug. This reminds me an awful lot of my Lord Wing Gray stack in Commander. Also, they just bajuka bug me. Bro, for real? Right in front of my salad? Now, Valkamira would be kind of funny. It's not as good with like what I'm doing. But I am going to play Valkmira because of, yeah, the Scoot Swarm. Uh, this reduces damage taken! Everybody in! If you're not familiar, if a source an opponent controls would deal damage, it gets reduced by one. Which means that these one power creatures, they can chump block, but they can't kill. No damage done! You asked how my kitty cat is. My cat, Scraps, is overheated today. It's, it's too warm for her. Forcer of Groupix lets them play lands off the top of their deck. There's a primeval bounty, which turns their land all into life again. Are you gonna destroy my Valkyra? Oh, I'm using that. Kogla and Yadaro! Oh no! They even get hard drawn. Soldier, thank you for that. I appreciate you punishing my opponent for such transgressions. I want to draw another card. Frankenheim! Thank you for the three month resub! Blood? On my snow? Ooh. I don't mind if I do. Thinking about a nice little Yetus here. Bring back Ratadrabic. Triggers Ellis Ilkor. I'm just gonna wait. No need to play anything here, so I won't. Soldier, do the thing. We know they have that Thorn Mammoth. So part of this is also the uh, conservative play of put more things on the battlefield. The longer I wait, the better it is. Ornamammoth! Most of my things have death touch. My commander does not. They pay the two. They're tapped out for turn. Ratadrabic dies. But they have no great attacks. Fine with me. I'll put Ratadrabic back here. I'm planning on bringing back Shuldred currently. Oh, nice. A land. This is Relic of Legends. Actually, how much mana do I have? One, two, four, five. One short. Okay, that's fine. Destroy all creatures. Oh, we can't bring back Soldier. That's still fine. I'll bring back Riven! I only have three snow. Yep. Two in a ring. This ring's about to fire, though. We're at six out of eight. Got some flying damage. Call of the Ring! Nice. Soul Wing Grace finally feels safe back on the battlefield. Gonna grab probably Riveteer's Overlook since it gives them access to all three of their colors. Riveteer's being the um, Nuka Pena word for Jund. Gosh, I am getting so sick. 
Nikki, it is hot out today. Daytime, nighttime, nighttime, daytime! Put some things right in the grave! Ooh, Teferi's protection. Bye, Teferi's protection! Ooh, Maria's call. Fun fact, Redan's not an angel. Oh, my pretty birds! They can gain life uh, by paying green and discarding a land card. Good way to stay alive. The ring tempts them. Who becomes their ring bearer? Elemental? They did pay two life to draw a card. Hey, Soul of Wind Grace, you want to attack in? Get some triggers. Hey, cutie cutie. There's a thing tonight. That's next week. Next week is rock car, racket car, saw car. Cool peg. Teach things into play. Um, I have an indestructible block. Am I about to get kissed? No. Okay. Uh, no, she's under the bed. She's been under the bed almost all day. This gains them one life, which will actually keep them alive here. They're able to replay Soul of Wing Grace, so destroying it feels pretty not anything to me. I'll block here. More! No! Oh, sweet. Wait, that wins me the game. Alright, I'm going to go to Clax. Let's see if they have a land in hand to gain some life. Command Kapow. Alright, great. Ratadravic first. And define uh, x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is it enough? You have a land in hand. They did. They go to one again. One once more. Fine with me. I get a 2 2 version of my Redan. And they lose some life. They could choose to put the pig back into their deck. It's a good pig. The ring tempts them, but they have no ring bearers, so they can't choose to pay you life, even though they don't have to life. Monkey! Oh no, what a good top deck! But they die. Because they killed my Redan. Right. Cards do things. GG, Lord Wind Grace! Mural is not a fan of me playing things on their turn. And that's okay. We'll play things on our turn. We're mostly at sorcery speed anyway, unless we have Gandalf out. Meryl makes soldier tokens whenever they attack. And the number of soldier tokens will grow and grow and grow, rewarding you for having more and more soldiers on the battlefield. Already, I see one. Raven Inspector is a soldier. Gets them a clue. A clue, a clue! I could destroy that clue with a ram. Ringleaf drum. I could destroy that spring leaf drum with Loran. I'm doing it. Get over here, spring leaf drum. In response, they could tap this ribbon inspector to crack open this clue. Let's see if they do. Nice. Thumbs up, Loran. I appreciate the value you gained for me. Why are you looking at my my mana? You are mono white. I am black and white. Yeah. 
have any dawn guard. Daytime? Daytime! Definitely not blocking there. I am going to throw down Ratadrabic! I might let both players draw a card. Even though our deck, I would say, innately does have a bit more card advantage. This card right here, Javany Dawn Guard, actually is card advantage. Um, they could go for a mural. They could just pass the turn to make it nighttime. Patriarch's Humiliation. You pay the two. Okay. Uh, this takes two damage and loses all of its abilities until it dies and I bring it back to the command zone. I have a card. Did I do the open? I did! Did I get to day two? No. And that's alright. I don't need to. Let's see, we got Kaya, Braids. Oh, a mural of my very own! Oh, perfect! Here, I'll attack with Rider Drabic. Die! I don't need my commander. I would like to have my commander, but I don't need my commander. Oh, my tummy is saying, Amy, give me more food. I gave you pretzels, chocolate covered, and peanut butter filled. A welcoming vampire. Going to give them card draw whenever a wee creature enters the battlefield under their control, like this one. Got a land. Since they played a land for turn, I am actually going to let them draw. And draw myself. Nice. Uh, putting Radadrabic into the graveyard with Henrith's royal funeral. Not too shabby. Swing it in. I'm very aware that if Meryl dies, I do not get the token copy. But I don't need the token copy. What I need are legends in my graveyard. Can have that Gavity Dawn Guard. Get myself one whole legend in the graveyard. And I would rather discount all of my future legends by two, but discounting by one is still plenty. Kenrith Royal Funeral. Do I pay the one? No. Enjoy your card draw. Mmm, such delicious card advantage! gonna bring out braids. I'm then going to sacrifice Loran. Just getting her in the graveyard. Not for no for no particular reason, you know. No reason at all. Definitely not planning on bringing that back. I have to discard two cards. Oh no, what a shame that is. Uh ooh, I don't even need lands lands with a relic of legends and one cost the legendaries <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. nothing weird going on here uh -uh. certainly not fateful absence they're killing braids braids is now in the gravy Mural on the battlefield. Air to attack. We take some damage. We're going to start with the Relic of Legends. Do I pay the one? Uh, making sure I can. Yes, I can pay the one. Great. One of these. Some of those. Some of you. One of these. No morels. Uh, Tappa. 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 Lorraine comes out, destroys the S for Sentinel. It is an artifact. And we attack for one, which gets us another 1-1! One, one. Tapped and attacking! Both players take one damage, being pow. I 
And sure, Radish Ravish is just a vanilla 3-3. Three, three. That's all I need. Valor Stance. They kill Adeline. So sad. Tragic. Well, hopefully they'll kill one of my two drops so I can Agadim's Awakening and bring those back. For, for maximum value. I refuse to get anything less than the best. Oh, who goes in the hole? Shadow Heart go down the hole. A puppy. They can't pay. Draw a card. Ooh, gotta start with the crime. Gonti, show me the top cards of their library. Please. I said please. Shire Sheriff, inspiring commander. Leon Vanguard. Shire Sheriff lets me remove something this turn because I do have this clue to sacrifice. Or this zombie, or this human token. Or this soldier token. Dang, choices, huh? I will exile the welcoming vampire! I'll play Kaya. Tapping Jadar, who's not very good at attacking anyway. Hey. Do you like Micaiah? I like Micaiah. I'm going to choose to exile that hole to free my Shadow Heart. Move to combat and attack with anything that can deal two damage. Loran and Radatrabek. Sweet mother of mono white card draw. It's asking, hey, do you want to sacrifice that dog? What's the dog doing though? I don't know. Here, have a card. Oh, cool, land. I don't need those. I have a relic of legends. I'll draw another card. Tapping. Tap it again. Oh, hey, Dracula. Hmm. They sacrifice your strave and inspector rather than blocking with the dog and sacrificing that. Both players take one point of damage each. And here's the Sarah Paragon. Very possible that they blocked with the inspector, wanting it to die so they could draw more cards. Hello, Yabbity Dawn Guard. It's the biggest thing they could bring back. And a Slayer's Bounty. Going to take note of the cards in my hand and can be sacrificed to not just draw a card, but also get a card out of their spellbook. They see the creature in my hand. That'll help. Little Silcor. I'm gonna put a plus on Gaunti. I'm going to attack with everything. If my creatures die, they lose life. Also, if my creatures die, I can bring some of them back. Also, if my creatures die, I don't really care. I'm just having a good time. Shadowheart does have death touch. Doot, 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 doot. Doot, 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 doot. Creatures die! Ellis Ilkor says, Oh, what a fun time that was. This dies as well. Ellis Ilkor says, nice ping. Doing that thing. I'll play Gaunti. Steal a card from them. What do we got? Lay down arms. Horn of Gondor. Horn of Gondor. Horn of Gondor. I mean, how could I not play Horn of Gondor? How could I not? I stole it. It's mine. I got a fair and square.
what do you get off your Slayer's Bounty? I think that when the horn enters the battlefield, it should go... It should go... Or maybe like a little, like a... Like a clown honk? That sounds good, too. Alright, Sarah Paragon, when one of these leaves the battlefield after it's entered the battlefield, will be gaining them life. They have turned Ellis Ilkor into a coward, a reprobate. They're using the Slayer's Bounty again. Yes, girl. Slay. Drawing a card. There's no creatures in my hand. Do you have a two-mana board wipe in there somewhere? Because, uh, I'm, I'm wide. I'm very wide. So wide. I love this being the Orzov beatdown. Or oh, life. One big flying lady. One commander! One planeswalker. It's Meryl's currently still over here. Vibin. Oh, summary judgment. Hey, look! Radidramic! Finally! I can remove the perpetual effects! I can replay my commander! I don't care! I don't need to replay Radidramic, though. So I won't. I'll press spacebar. And kill you! GG, Meryl. Will! Pacted, bound, a duelist with both black and red as specialized options. Well, I've got specialized too! But probably not as much as them. I'll actually have to check to see oh, what that specialized does because I do not remember. And that's fine. That's fine. Alright, if you specialize into black... Sacrifice. Draw three cards unless I pay five life. Okay, cool. And on the other side... Oops. Wanted red. Take an additional combat phase. Cool! Seems just fine to me. And they get to steal. So, like, ideally you're stealing and you're sacrificing all at once. Tiefling outcast. They don't want to attack into Cat Neverheart. Which is, I'd say, the right move. Let's do some crime. Yogmoth. I mean, I actually already have Yogmoth in this deck because he's quite good with the sacrifice that I crave. Uh, Jury, when she dies, deals damage. Will do its power, and she gets bigger whenever you sacrifice. I don't know if this is Jury, which to me is a very feminine sounding name, or Yuri, which is a very doodly sounding name. I have yet to find out. Perhaps I never will find out. Nothing for me to destroy off Loran. We've got a golem which can help us kick off future problems for our opponents. Uh, and I also have this Tiberius Protection Mithril Coat, so I think I'll just pass. Hi, Nashi. Hey, you want to have a snack? Some nosh? Can't quite play Will yet. The Swarm Saboteur! Not going for any ninjutsu, just playing it onto the battlefield. And a Dragon Master Outcast! Oh, you attacking? A rat would trade. They're not interested. I'm gonna make Gonti indestructible. Ah, a fourth land. Radadravic. And pass. When you have a specialized commander like Will, uh, you actually get to choose a second color to be part of your commander's color identity. Um, all right, who are you stealing? Radadravic? You can't. Gonti? He's indestructible. Until end of turn. Okay, Swarm Saboteur. Nashi. Outcasts. 
This will get them another out cow. Oh, never mind. I block. I said I block. This will give them a card in hand. It'll get them a virus beetle, which will make me discard. But I have something that's very good to discard, this golem. Because I can bring it back from the graveyard. Oh, is this permanent? Oh, until the end of your next turn. Oh, so you can sacrifice it next turn. That's so smart. I wonder if I just want to do this. They will be sacrificing on it. Give me a second. I'm doing some math here. I have a golem. And I passed my turn. We could have used uh, the mithril, thrown it back onto another one of our creatures, but it will go back under my control. It's actually technically under my control right now. Let's see. Do you specialize? If you do, red or black? Looks like they're going for black. Because they have this virus beetle. Makes sense to me. Oh, never mind. Now back onto the uh back onto the game plan here. Will you must specialize. And now that they have sacrificed various protection. What target opponent? There is no target opponent. Yeah, you killed my Gonti though. That's rude. But I don't exist, so. Whee! There's no combat damage to be dealt by your ninjas. Um, you can attack with the Tiefling Outcast to get that double team trigger. Wait, did you dash? I don't... Uh... I don't... Take damage. It's cool, Will. Sometimes you just want to play a monkey. I get it. I, too, am in the camp of play monkey. Also... Yawgmoth gets me a really good payoff for sacrificing Golem over and over. We can clear out their board and draw an infinity cards. Well, as much cards as I have life total for. Let's do it! Bye, Golem! It's my ring bearer. I got some of these. Draw myself some cards. Will is a human, so we also have protection from Will. Will he, won't he? Should get rid of Yuri. This is my ring bearer. Until it isn't. Wandering introvert with a 32 month resub. It's almost a year. Almost a year or something. Infinity golems means infinity death means infinity draws. Just a little note before we go into this next game. My opponent during this game disconnected repeatedly and uh, didn't pass priority very often. So I skipped a large segment of the game, but I still got some serious go off so I tried to include the spicy parts of the game. Uh, I think you'll still enjoy it. It's a really cool game. So uh, let's go into the footage. 
Trey Lasara, Moon Dancer. She's like an Ajani's pride mate, but better because she scries. Ajani's scryed mate, is that anything? Trey Lasara, Moon Dancer, whenever they gain life, gets a plus one, plus one counter, and then scries. She's great because Selesnia, the color she's in, are very good at gaining life. You've got ways to give her lifelink. You got ways to uh, make other things trigger off gaining life, like Heliod, those pride mates I mentioned, and other nice benefits. Hey there, Esper Sentinel. I got that the golem. I love golem. This is like a funny little guy. You wouldn't attack into a golem, would you? Into my weird, my weird halfling horror. Hello? Opponent? Samsonite 9? Hello? You there? Um, maybe their game crashed. Listen, it happens to all of us. Unfortunately, Arena is not a stable client, and some people's computers take a few minutes to reboot, which is probably why they have such a long timer in the game. All right, so here they are, Trailasara. As for Sentinel, you want a buggy wuggy wuggy? Relic of Legends, I cannot pay the one. Welcoming Vampire. Oh, hello. I won't be getting a uh, enter the battlefield there, other than achieving the Ring Bearer status on Samwise. Radadrabic, Ashnod. And I've actually got four more mana here. We could absolutely use this for the Celestus. Do I pay the one? Sure. I'm ramping. Am I more powerful than the moon? Certainly not Sailor Moon. Is Triglasar of Sailor Moon? Catch with Monument that's gonna help them go wide whenever they cast things. White creatures. Oh no, whenever they cast creatures, they get a white creature. They get a little warrior token, and now whenever any creature enters the battlefield, they'll be gaining life. Uh, hey, Wandering Emperor. Hey, Gandalf. Must. Resist. Triggers. Must. Resist. But I simply cannot! Golem! Die! Don't mind me. Just letting my funky little guys die. They're scrying. Deciding. What would you like? Um, keeping things on top. Samsonite, you, uh, you doing alright there? Must be a hard decision not. Could just be a slower player. Or somebody who's playing on, like, their phone. Anything that has a ton of triggers, I try not to play on my phone, just because I know how difficult it is. And they're almost through their last time out. on the top. You're my ring bearer. Great! I can't block. Cool! Bip bip. Big arm! Ooh, I do want to play with that. Just dropping some legends. Oh, it's legendary creatures? Ah, it's fine. You're a legendary creature. And off like, what about me? I mean... 
Listen, like, I can I can do this. All right, yep, this is not going in the video. I'm going to run a two-minute ad break since our opponent is just kind of not there. Sorry, everybody. It's a no-go game. Oh, they're back. More triggers. I'm gonna make a bunch of golems. Oh, wait. Oh hell yeah! I'm gonna use. All right, this is in the video, so um, I need to do this. Sacrifice Gollum to get Gollum. Gandalf doubles this. Yeah, enjoy your life, Gain. Uh huh. Briefly reconnected and then it failed again. Yep, Luke, you know exactly what I'm up to. We even sacrificed to the Legends rule. Wow, amazing. more golems. I sold you on this golem. Oh, for this deck? Yeah. It certainly is like, you, you have to want it. So now that I've got this, it's going to start juggling them. I don't care. I like how between all those, I could have been tapping them for mana, too. For your Dahada deck? Yeah, that's all you need! More golems! Oh, I'm having too much fun with this. Uh, I'll just make Lotho my ring bearer. Go to combat. Hey, whatever. Go get it. It's fun. Mm, sacrifice a Sam. Sam gets himself. I mean, Sam 
Sam does have flash on his own, but also Gandalf gives him like double flash. Yeah, whatever. Ah, cool. Oh my god, our opponent is actually here now. Oh, that's cool. Sure. Gandalf, the Gandalf, the Gandalf, the Gandalf. Sam, go save yourself. He said, maybe. He's gonna be the one that saves me. <laughs> it's got Pasha Flash. Oh, look, now they're moving cards around again. Whatever, do this. Ah. Yeah, ring gets stupid. Oh, look, you, uh, you trigger three times. Uh... Yeah, Gandalf is him. Sure, and Ash not. And Sam. Again. So these all trigger. So I think I get to draw three times, and it will count three different creatures being exiled. Oh my god, it has synergy! I didn't realize that would happen. Four mana, refill, whole hand, and discount. Bing bong! Yay! Hey, Soulmander. They should draw some cards. All right, at least now I'm hands off until they try to attack me. I'm so hungry. Why did you give me more mana? All right, one second. This is important. Stop triggering, you piece of crap. I should be tapping all those for mana between each trigger. Right? I don't even care that you're gaining life. I can make infinite golems. <laughs> yeah, go for Tasha. I'm gonna have so many candles. <laughs> oh my god, okay, fine. Come out here, I'm gonna kill you. Out here. Come out here. I was my second attempt at the open. Ah, I got so close. Who's the legendary one? Oh, 
we gotta make another one legendary. Okay. Okay. Uh, this Gandalf is legendary, and so is uh, the same Glendal. There we go. Okay. Scooch is around. Ah, oh, sweet. Flash Elishnorn. Hold up. Yeah, now my timer's burning out. Uh, tap for black. Okay. For my ring bearer. Tap for white. Tap for white. This will, this will just make the whole thing go, so I don't have to keep doing this. Alright, we're freaking done. Bye. Norn is the ring bearer. Concede, Samsonite. Get a prosperous innkeeper. This is token intended. Please stop picking game actions. These do not help you win! At least now it's auto-passing, but it might not let me block. All right. Okay, we good? Thank you. Discard or whatever. Why won't you? Oh, um, I mean, two is better than one. Sorry, uh, how many? For watching this episode of Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing these games because there were some crazy ones in this video. Ratadrabic with the things that either enter the battlefield and get tempted by the ring or leave the battlefield and get tempted by the ring are so incredibly good because you can just turn whatever you want into a legend on top of those already being legendary so they trigger for Ratadrabic. It turns into this glorious loop of Enter the battlefield stuff. In fact, you could build a Ratadrabic deck purely around being tempted by the ring. That's not what this is. This is a Legends deck, slash a Sacrifice deck, slash a super duper fun deck. I love the updates that Ratadrabic has gotten. When we first got Mondrak and Drivnod, I felt like, wow, this deck got so much better. But on top of that, getting Gandalf, getting tempted by the ring, there's so many new mechanics and new cards for Ratadrabic. This deck has only gotten better. I will absolutely recommend playing this deck because it can play out in so many different ways. It can be built in so many different ways. And it's its just a joy. I really enjoyed playing it. And you could probably tell I was smiling through a lot of this video. Um, as always, if you'd like to see me play these games live, you should come over to twitch.tv slash Amazonian where I play Magic the Gathering almost every single day. I usually take Tuesdays off, but I'm going to be streaming on the 4th of July because I have no barbecues planned. And I may as well hang out with all my friends over here. Yay! If you're wondering, Amy, why were you out of town for so long? Oh, that's strange. I have some amazing news. I'm going to be on the Command Zone channel on YouTube, playing some Commander. Yep, I'm going to be on three episodes of Extra Turns. So in about 
a month from when this video comes out, you should be sure to check out that video. I can't tell you anything about it other than it's super fun. The game is great. The gameplay is awesome. And I got to play Magic with Jimmy Wong and with the Josh Lee Kwai and the, the other guest. This is already public, so I can't say it. Kenji, Numa, the Nummy. What a fantastic pod to play with. If you like this deck list, it is in the description of the video. If you'd like to hang out with me, again, come to Twitch. I it, I stream so much there. It's my main channel. You should definitely come on over and vibe with me. I've been talking for way too long. That's fine. That's good. Have a brutal day.